What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Fall Guys and potentially Fall Guys coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you have been living under a rock and you don't know what Fall Guys is, well, Fall Guys is a, basically, if you took Mario Party, took out the board game stuff, and just had the mini games, and then you basically threw it in a battle royale setting where basically 60 players play each mini games consecutively until there's only one player left, you have Fall Guys. Throw in a couple of jelly beans and a couple of customizable outfits, and then there you go. The fact that this game actually exists it's just like mind-blowing to me that it didn't happen before take a you know again like a Mario Party style game and then put it in the battle royale setting it's just genius to me and again the implementation of the you know of the costumes and the the, the way these characters like move around and flop around they're like basically jelly beans again it's insanely clever as a dad I love it I love playing it with my kids I love unlocking skins and stuff like that it's totally addicting that out of the way the discussion video for today isn't about if you should play with your kids it's about it actually coming to the Nintendo switch this game is would be a perfect fit for the Nintendo switch it's not graphically demanding while it probably is on the technical side you know Nintendo switch does have Fortnite there are other multiplayer games on the Nintendo switch that I would say probably are more demanding like Splatoon and Mario Kart 8 I think it Fall guys will kind of fit perfectly into the Nintendo Switch on the hardware side of things as well as the graphics side of things. I think it will shine and look basically the same because it's basically not that much going on in Fall Guys. You got a couple of jelly beans, a couple of fans, and a couple of fucking slime that just rises up. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not crazy graphically impressive that's what i'm saying while it does look good on the ps4 and the pc you know there's no 4k tracing needed to play this game and why a lot of people are petitioning and basically begging the developers to bring this over to the nintendo switch why am i doing this video because in the data files for the steam version of fall guys right now there is a Nintendo SDK plugin, which again is usually for if the game is going to other consoles so it can map controllers and stuff like that. It, again, it's weird to see that pop up on this PC version of the game, but a lot of different sources have found this to confirm that it's actually there. And yeah, there's a Nintendo SDK plugin on the PC version for some reason. Now, this is not just so that the Pro Controller can work because that's its own separate files and you know it has its own separate layout and stuff like that inside of the Fall Guy files. This is something completely different I mean, a lot of people are speculating it just leads to the fact that this game is probably going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, as of right now, Fall Guys is free on PS Plus, meaning that the developers and, you know, Devolver Digital, you know, getting the game out there, they made a deal with PlayStation to get it out on PlayStation first. And especially as a PS Plus title, kind of like what Rocket League did back in the day, it blew up Rocket League to what it is today, kind of, because everyone just had access to this incredibly fun game with this crazy new idea, this cool concept that was crazy addicting, and everybody got to jump in free on PS4, just boosting its reachability. If you wanted to play it, you got to play it. It was free. The same thing with Fall Guys. Right now, it's, it's one of those things that is a cute thing. You're like, ah, I'll try it. But if you have a PS4, you can get it now for free. Boosting, again, its reachability and, you know, getting the word out there that this game, like, play this amazing game. So a deal was made with those, um, with the developer, with PlayStation to get it on PS Plus. And I think, again, a lot of people are speculating that because of that deal, and because there's no word of this game actually coming to Xbox or Nintendo Switch yet, that that deal led them to do a console exclusive launch deal. Meaning that for a limited time, this game is gonna be only available on PlayStation. And then once that window is up, they're free to go and move the game over to Xbox and PC. I do think we're gonna see that happen. I think it will be crazy if th this game doesn't come to Nintendo Switch, if it doesn't come to Xbox, for whatever reason, I think it's just like, you just like, huh? Why Why wouldn't you? That's free money laying on the table. People will buy this game. The game is $20, by the way, on PC. So if it does come to Nintendo Switch, if it does come to Xbox, and it does have that $20 price point, people will buy this like hotcakes, as well as buy cosmetics and stuff like that. Like, this is a game of a service type game, like kind of like Fortnite, 
but you paid the twenty dollars up front to play it, and I think a lot of people are gonna play it because it's generally just that good. And especially with all the hype going on around it, for a well built for a well built game and a very different game from everything that's going on right now with in the video game sphere of you know shooters and stuff like that. This is definitely outside of the realm of your typical game. So a lot is, is a brush of fresh air for a lot of people. And it coming to the Nintendo Switch, having it portable, I'm just like, yo, yes, give it to me. One thing I'm worried about it coming to the Nintendo Switch is currently on the PS4 and the PC. There isn't cross save. Basically, if you, you know, start the season off and you unlock stuff on the PS4 and you jump over to your PC and you play, again, you, you don't have the same outfits because your progression doesn't carry over. So meaning if it does come to the Nintendo Switch, we might not be able to carry over the items and stuff that we already have on the PS4 and the PC versions of the game. While to me, that's a big, you know, like, oh man, I would hate it in something like Fortnite if I couldn't bring over my, you know, skins or whatever the case may be. I think why this might not be in too big of an issue is, again, because of the type of game it is, you know, Fall Guys is definitely a jump in, play for 20 minutes type game, or play for hours, a ton of people have been playing for hours, I've been playing for hours, but I think this will also lead to the possibility of, you know, having console exclusive skins, and, you know, console, you know, holders, con like Sony or Microsoft, Nintendo, won't be scared of seeing their console, you know, skins on different platforms, because if there is no progression. You cannot bring your Nintendo skins over to the PlayStation platform. And to me, this is just my, you know, thoughts. I'm, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible because I want Fall Guys on the Nintendo Switch. Do you want Fall Guys on the Nintendo Switch? Let me know in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this every day. Discussion videos talking to you guys about games about leaks, let's plays, anything I kind of want. If you enjoyed the vibe, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed the video at any point, also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.